today's video, I want to provide you with an introduction to caulks and sealants. I'm sure many of you have gone to the store and you've been faced with this. It's daunting the number of products that are on the market. And it's difficult to know which one is the right one for your project. They all claim to be the best for certain applications, but it's really hard to know without a little bit of knowledge to arm yourself before you make your decision. There are three things that I typically take into account when I purchase or choose a caulk. I look at the temperature range. That's what sort of temperatures will a certain caulk withstand once it's applied. I look at if it is waterproof, some applications absolutely require it to be waterproof. And I also look at reliability. Uh, that's how long is it going to last and, and how is it going to hold up under certain conditions. Things that you might also care about are paintability. Uh, if you want it to match, let's say, an interior paint or an exterior paint, that's, that's going to matter to you. If you're not going to paint it, then you might also care about UV resistance. Uh, some caulks and some sealants tend to turn yellow when they're exposed to UV rays over time. Caulks are generally broken up into three different categories. There's acrylic latex caulk, there's silicone caulk, and there's polyurethane caulk. Uh, there are also many specialty caulks and sealants out there that may not fall in these three categories. Let's start with acrylic latex. Here's an example of an acrylic latex caulk. This is a product by DAP. It's called Dynaflex 230. It says you can use it for flashing, trim, doors, windows, siding, molding, indoor, outdoor, waterproof, and paintable. What I like about acrylic latex is it's very easy to work with. Uh, you can shape it and smooth it easily. If you get it in the wrong spot, it's very easy to clean up. You can generally take a wet rag and, and wipe it off. And that's because it's a water-based um, caulk. The downside to water-based caulks is that they're generally not waterproof. So this one claims that it's waterproof, and I'm, I'm sure it is for some duration, uh, but generally I would not use acrylic latex where you want uh, your application to be waterproof. Uh, also, I don't like to use acrylic latex on the exterior. I find that they do crack or they um, disadhere from the material where you've applied it. Uh, I see it used around windows on the exterior a lot and they generally have to be recalked every year. So I tend not to use it for the exterior applications. I limit it to things like filling gaps between trim or molding. Uh, here's an example of where I would use it. Next up we have silicone caulks. These are commonly used where waterproofing is necessary. Most of you have probably seen silicone caulks and you may have even used them, especially in a bathroom, around a bathtub. That's a very common application. Here's an example of some silicone caulks. We have a DAP 3.0. This is a silicone base caulk. I don't know everything that's in this because they don't even tell you that it's silicone. I had to look that up. Uh, I do find it frustrating when companies don't put the material on the tube because then it makes it hard for me to determine if it's the right product for me to use. So if you pick something up and you can't tell what it is, you just might want to think twice about that or go spend some time on the internet, look up the data sheet, make sure you find out what you need to know before you commit to that particular caulk. Uh, I do believe this one is not 100% silicone because it has a very low temperature range or should I say a tight temperature range, 20 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit is not very good. Uh, silicone, one of the other advantages is it does have a broad temperature range under which it can be used. For example, this GE product says its service temperature is minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So very good product, can withstand extreme temperatures. You can use it outside without any concern in the winter or the summer. Uh, another advantage to silicone is that it doesn't discolor under UV. A disadvantage is it's difficult to work with. Silicone is tacky. It doesn't clean up very well. You need to run a good clean bead the first time because it will be difficult to shape with your finger. It gets messy if you do need to clean it up. Mineral spirits will help, but it will still be a challenge. Some applications for silicone, as I mentioned, bathrooms. Um, 
around backsplashes, bathtubs, anywhere in showers where you need to provide a seal to keep water from getting to a place where you don't want it. Uh, you can also use it on the exterior. I've used it where I have a gap between my window casing and my glass. Um, I've used the clear, very thin bead of it, couldn't even see it, and it provides a nice waterproof seal so water doesn't get inside there and start rotting my wood. Uh, here's another example of where I might use silicone. So we've covered acrylic latex and silicone caulks. Next I'd like to cover some hybrid caulks. These are combinations of the first two. So here we have this acrylic latex with silicone. This is another DAP product. This has all the same applications as acrylic latex. What you get with this is improved waterproofing and a little more flexibility. So where I might use this is on the exterior because now with the improved waterproofing I'd feel more comfortable using it uh, and I get that flexibility so when I apply it let's say around a, a window where I need some waterproofing the expansion and contraction that may occur with that window material isn't going to cause cracking as easily as it would with just an acrylic latex so I do think this is a much better product to use on the exterior than just plain acrylic latex uh, I wouldn't however use it around trim or baseboards where I need to seal some gaps just because the silicone makes it less easy to work with than just plain acrylic latex so I would just stick with this for exterior applications or where I need a little bit of waterproofing. Along that same vein there there is paintable silicone. This is relatively new uh, I've only used this a couple of times but so far it's had very promising results so you basically get all the benefits of silicone, but you have the ability to paint it so that it can match uh, the material that you're applying it to. Here's an example where I would use the paintable silicone. Next up we have the polyurethane sealants. These are excellent sealers for exterior applications. An example is this Sonelastic NP1. This sealant is used by a lot of construction professionals. That's how I learned about it. Uh, I've used it for a number of different, ap different applications and I've had a lot of success. Uh, it provides waterproofing capabilities. Um, it also has a lot of flexibility. This product will expand up to 35%. So if you have an application where you're trying to seal some exterior gaps, uh, and I don't mean the small gaps between, let's say, your window trim and your siding, uh, but like more substantial gaps between, say, uh, some wood siding and some brick, uh, this is a good product. The downside is that it is not paintable, so you'll have to try to color match it. There's maybe seven to ten different colors available on this, so you can usually get uh, pretty close. But I do think that you'll have a lot of success with this. Um, I use it on metal to metal applications, metal to concrete, metal to stucco, wood to stucco, those kinds of applications. Here's an example of how I've used it. Now that I've covered the major types of caulks and sealants, I do want to briefly mention specialty caulks. Uh, sometimes you'll see caulks in the store such as this, where you're not really sure what it's made of, but you do know the application based on what the manufacturer is telling you on the tube. This particular product is used for roofing applications. Um, I did not have good luck with this product, not because there's anything wrong with this product, uh, but it just didn't work for me. So the point I want to make about these specialty caulks that you don't know much about is take the time to do the research to make sure it's right for you. Um, 
This is a clear product that I used to seal a metal seam on a roof and ended up turning yellow, uh, which apparently it has no UV resistance. So, you know, that was my bad. Um, but do your homework, it'll pay off. You don't want to have to do it twice because the hard part about this was getting it off to apply a more suitable product. Another specialty caulk is this sanded ceramic tile caulk. All this is is silicone caulk that has sand added to it and it's been color matched. Typically it is color matched to the grout colors that are made by the same manufacturer. Um, so don't think in a shower or bathtub application that you're only confined to the silicone that you see in the caulk section of your home improvement store. You can venture over to the tile section or go to a tile store and find a product like this. Here's how I would use this product. So that covers the caulks that I wanted to go over today. I have in no way included all of the products on the market, but I hope I've given you enough information so you can go make the right decision and get your project done right the first time. One last piece of advice I have on application is that you buy a high quality caulking gun. The cheap ones will break or you will find that they're rather strenuous on your hand after long term usage. And another handy tool or tools are these epoxy syringes. These are syringes with a plastic tip. You can cut these tips to whatever size that you want, size opening that you want. It makes it very handy to put caulk into tight places. Uh, if you can't find epoxy syringes, you might find glue injector sets, which are very similar. Uh, I find these to be quite useful. Although when you use them with some products like the polyurethane sealants or the, the silicone, you can't get them clean, so you pretty much use it and throw it away. So that's it for my introduction on caulks and sealants. I hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching.